preparing for changes after high school. An insightful transitions curriculum. Life in college is different than high school. Let's take a look at some of the changes you can expect after high school to help you prepare. High school students take classes from morning to the afternoon, every day, one after another. In college, you may have some morning classes, some later in the day, or even classes at night. Your time to study and relax will change. In high school, your teachers may give you reminders about upcoming assignments and tests. In college, professors might not offer reminders except for listing them on the syllabus. These changes in independence and responsibility can be overwhelming. Moving from high school to college is part of becoming an adult. Being prepared will help you transition to the next phase of your education. Meet Gray. She's a university student. The biggest change was probably not seeing the same people every single day and not having the exact same schedule all the time. Um, you don't really have a, an eight to three day. You have, um, you know, sometimes you have classes on Mondays and Wednesdays. Sometimes you have classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And so just the change of my schedule, the change of my routine was a lot different. Meet Marshana. She's a college admissions counselor. A lot of students think that, you know, they're so used to mom waking them up, breakfast is ready to go, they just go to school, they get picked up. When you're in college, you have to be responsible for all of those things. Um, and I think sometimes students overlook health. It's really important to make sure you have some type of healthy rhythm to your lifestyle in college. Um, that making sure you're eating appropriately, drinking a lot of water, doing some exercise, getting enough sleep, all of those things are gonna be really helpful in helping you retain the information while you're in college. Um, it's not that it's hard. I don't think necessarily, a lot of students think college is hard because I'm doing all this work. It's just more work and a short amount of time. So you can do it, anybody can do it, but how do you make sure that you're getting your brain prepared and ready to go? In high school, parents, teachers, and counselors advocate for you to address your disability in school. In college, you will need to disclose your disability to the Disability Resource Center and ask them to help you get accommodations to support your education. Meet Tracy. She is a graduate student who is vision impaired. Support services at different universities that I've attended have looked different every time. Often you'll be called in and you'll have a meeting and you'll talk about what's worked best for you and then learn what they can offer you, accessibility or technology that you've not ever experienced, which can be a positive and can be a negative. In high school, your teachers may reach out to you if they see you struggling. In college, you will have to advocate for yourself and ask questions of your professors if you need help. Professors at a college university typically have a lot going on. They can have a caseload of 100 to 400 students, and they can't always predict what students need. So students will definitely need to make sure they make a point to visit with their faculty or their professors and say, hey, my name is so-and-so, here are some of the things that I'm struggling with. The nice thing about universities is that all the faculty are required to have office hours. So if you need some more direction because you didn't pick up something in class, that is the best way to go. The other thing I would say is that faculty, you know, they're more flexible. You know, the deadlines sometimes don't necessarily meet with what you need. And if you let them know ahead of time, they're willing to work with you. In college, your schedule is all your own. You will need to keep track of all your assignments and due dates yourself. So I printed out a calendar and then I would put in my classes on that. And then I would put in when I could work on that. And then I put in when I could study. So I had a separate calendar outline for like my actual day that was made up and then in my planner I would write down each subject of my class on each day I had it and then just write down every single thing whether it was printed out my syllabus or um, an assignment that was turned in or anything like that and then once I completed I would highlight it and I feel like that's one of the only things that really kept me grounded was because I'd go to class and people would be like wait like we had this due even though it was a, such a small thing I was like yeah because I wrote it down in my planner. College can be exciting and there is a lot to look forward to.
being prepared for an independent schedule, knowing who to reach out to for support when you need it, being organized, can make the transition to college smoother. Insightful Transitions Curriculum